folks. Uh, today we're going to go over the cross product. Um, what the cross product is, it is uh, a way of multiplying two vectors uh, to attain a third vector um, that is perpendicular to the original two vectors. So we have uh, vector A and vector B here. Um, which is the cross product of A and B. Uh, the vector components are, uh, here we have three, three, and one. That corresponds to the X, Y, and Z, or I, J, and K directions. Um, so to set up a, a cross product problem, uh, you have your, your two vectors. You define what you want to do. Uh, and here, you set up a chart. Uh, first, we put the i, j, and k components at the top. Then we put the x, y, and z, or i, j, and k portions of the vector. So here we have 3, 3, and 1, 4, 3, and 2. Uh, and the cross product really is uh, just, just what it sounds like. Uh, we are going to cross uh, the, the, the terms and, and, and get the, the product. Okay, so. Uh, the way you start it, you have your, your uh, diagram set up, and uh, first we're going to attain the uh, I value. Uh, to do this, uh, basically you can just think of it as covering over components there, uh, and we multiply 3 times 2, and then cross the other way, 3 times 1. Uh, so we have 3 times 2 minus 3 times 1. Uh, and that is your I component. Next, you, uh, we're going to for the J component, so we're crossing 3 times 2 and 4 times 1. That gives you here. Uh, minus, the second term is always uh, a subtraction. So it's minus 3 times 2, minus 4 times 1. That's your J component. And then lastly, leaving off the, the, the K portion, uh, we get the k component, which is 3 times 3 minus 4 times 3. Uh, if you do the, the numbers, it's 6 minus 3i minus 6 minus 4j plus 9 minus 12k. Uh, the final uh, product here, you have uh, 3i minus 2j minus 3k. Uh, and essentially what you've done, uh, this new vector, uh, is third and separate vector uh, that is uh, perpendicular to the original two uh, vectors, um, also called the normal vector. Uh, it is uh, cross product. 